Hello everybody, out in the diet world. Something happened today on YouTube. Breaking carnivore news. Oh, Joey, hang on a minute. I see more, more Just YouTube Joey. Would... I think this is the first time this ever happened where two people I disagree with were in a debate together. So this was especially fun because when one trashes the other, I, I'm i happy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a fail. It's, it uh, is a fail, uh, Joey. Okay. It's a flat fail. You have not. Well, they're carnivore teachers. Bart K. and Joey Schwartz, a.k.a. Carnivore Camaraderie. He's been everywhere, and halfway through this video, you're going to be questioning why so many people are willing to talk to him. <laughs> He's 19, by the way. He eats a carnivore diet, but Bart K. does not. He's just a scientist, so to speak. That scientist has some schooling. He's going to try educating the 19-year-old. But in this video here, you're going to see he acts less like a teacher and more like a stepdad. One of us is able to apply scientific discipline, statistics, probability, and all of that. And one of us is you. <laughs> but Barquet is that way with everybody. And this is not the first time these two have talked. Bart K was one of those people that jumped in real early to praise this teenager for being so smart. Turns out he was just well scripted and he said all the things they wanted to hear. But then he kept talking and as I knew what happened, he would end up saying a lot of dumb things. So I want to show you about a minute of their previous conversation five months ago, or I guess this was their first meeting. All right, boys and girls of all ages, over 18, of course, that is for my channel, because that's the way things go. Today, my guest is Joey Schwartz. Schwartz, I should say. Can't even speak properly today. Joey is a high school senior who is also a carnivore. So we thought it would be really interesting to talk to someone of Joey's tender young age about his experience with doing this. I started lifting weights about two years ago, um, you know, eating basically what one would consider a regular bodybuilder diet, you know, the chicken, the rice, the bananas, the whey protein. And I felt terrible. And I learned about keto. And then I thought, boom, slam dunk, every single possible marker <laughs> of good health goes up in ketosis this is <laughs> no it doesn't those are just the numbers that you want to look at ketosis this is this is the metabolic state in which humans are supposed to be in oh so much bullshit at least you know most of the time opposite plan i have debunked this in so many ways in short wild meat would have glycogen in it that would keep you out of the ketogenic state the only way to go into ketosis is with factory farm unnatural store-bought meat so now then i cut out the fruit and now it's just it's unbelievable That's i mean i feel stupid. like these people are liars yeah, almost like yeah, a superhero yeah. <laughs> yeah all right now today's discussion this happened just today to give you a little backstory there was joey's debate with the nutrivore where he really lost because he just didn't, didn't have the science to back up his claims so this is where Joey's matrix started falling apart. And then it continued on when he debated Durian Rider. And so I can imagine that the carnivore community, some of them are going to be bothered by this. because It looks real bad for the community. So Bart K, senior scientist, has Joey on today. And so let's roll from the beginning. I may do some more later, but this one was just the beginning discussion. They went about half hour on vitamin C. And yeah, it sounds a little boring, but it's all in the personalities. The way they went back and forth was very interesting. And again, it makes their community look pretty bad. Is that an, an increase in vitamin C would be beneficial, especially given that there have been several documented cases of scurvy during which a person actually went to his doctor who did carnivore there you go. and said he got scurvy. There you so, go. Yeah, that's what people on both sides have been bringing up lately. There's James Blunt. But then you have a lot of carnivores just denying that this is a problem. Oh, Joey, hang on a minute. More, more just Joey, Joey, be. Joey, hang on a minute. Hang on. You've just made another positive claim. You've just said that there are established oh, cases man. of scurvy. Yeah. <laughs> Can you support that claim? Hey, I was just saying that. 
that we have these people out there just denying. Talk about positive claims, dude. These people are just fools. Yeah, I, I did some of my video. Um, it was it was the one guy on the plant based news who. You know that's not um, a, that that like doesn't support no no Joey sorry oh. son that doesn't support your claim. That was James Blunt. Yeah, singer James yeah. Blunt. Being I'm talking about him. Sensationalist. To substantiate your claim, you would need to show me a medical oh, report. Pull the, well, I just coined a new term here. See over here in my comments. The Ashton Kutcher defense. He's saying, oh, that's just a celebrity. They do things to get attention. Anti-vegans were taken all that seriously 10 years back when Ashton Kutcher said he went on the vegetarian diet and then said... He didn't say anything. He just went to the hospital and looked like a publicity stunt. Then he was out of the hospital and we didn't get any medical report. So now the same thing's happening with the kind of, yeah, what comes around goes around. To substantiate your claim, you would need to show me a medical report hey, signed by a medical... medical... Speaking of medical report, right. We never had a medical report from Ashton Kutcher. A practitioner where there was a, there was a diagnosis of scurvy and you would also need to show me proof that person definitely did not consume some carbohydrates as well. Can you do that? Um, right, right, right. No, but I, I honestly, I'd rather just err on the side of caution and, and eat the food that has the most nutrients in it. Okay, so erring on the I, side I of caution, erring on the side of caution is fine. Okay, what happens, Joey, when you consume an amount of vitamin C, which is in advance of what is required by you physiologically? Um, I know that there are some issues that can arise, but I just don't think that would happen with... Well, well you just like said you were going to err on the side of caution. caution, did you not? Oh, yeah, I did, but that, that threshold that at which vitamin C becomes harmful wouldn't be reached with raw meat. It's not okay, can you support that there. claim, Joey? Because you've just made another no, positive a claim <laughs> about a threshold. Well, what is that threshold, and how can you support your claim that it would not be reached? Well, you, you tell me, you're the one that said uh, is, there's a toxic level that can be reached. So uh, what, what would you say that level is? I didn't say there was a toxic level that can be reached, Joey. I asked you the question because you're the one that's claiming to know more about this than I do. No, no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not claiming to know more than you do. You asked me a question implying that there's a level at which vitamin C becomes toxic. So yes. I'm curious. What okay, well, is. the level is very, very individual. It depends very much on circumstances as well as genetics. I'm asking you if you are aware of what the problems are with too much vitamin C. Uh, there are none, as long as it's organic vitamin C and not supplemental cats. Make their own vitamin C because they're carnivores, and the amount of vitamin C they make is much more than what humans get in their diet. I'm aware that there are problems. I don't know what they are. Okay. And I, well, and I don't know what the, the threshold is, but... No right. Yeah. Okay, so how can you say you're erring on the side of caution if you have no knowledge of what the potential problems with excess vitamin C is? Uh, wait, are, are you saying that excess vitamin C can be caused by eating raw meat? It's potential. <laughs> it's very, so, so it's very it, unlikely. Okay, so I will, I will grant you, it's very unlikely, but it's not impossible. <laughs> so, so, uh, so, ju just so I can understand this right. You think that the risk of getting vitamin C toxicity from raw meat is greater than the risk of getting vitamin C deficiency from cooked meat? Well, there is no risk of vitamin C deficiency from eating only cooked food, only cooked meat. There are no established there is. mechanism, Bart. There is a clear mechanistic pathway leading to vitamin C deficiency when you don't get enough. Well, <laughs> there just isn't enough in meat reports of any individuals anywhere at any time who have eaten a 100% cooked meat diet who have presented with scurvy. <laughs> this guy is such a fool. Bart is now forgetting all about me mechanism and he's relying <laughs> on anecdotes and lack of anecdotes here. So if, if we don't have anybody that we know of with their anecdotal evidence, then we can't take it seriously. Because if fine, but there was a significant risk, risk, people would be presenting as such, and they're not. Well, also people, I mean, many people eat meat that's not fully cooked. I mean, 
I don't know any. Sure. I don't know of any people who eat just meat that's completely cooked through with no raw parts. You do, in fact, because I won't particularly eat meat that's that's not cooked through personally, and I've been doing that for about eight and a half years. I, I'm just not sure how you can say like it's not possible for people on cooked meat diets to get scurvy when we know that vitamin C begins to denature at 86 degrees Fahrenheit and then even more significantly more significantly at 140 and then even more at 170. Okay, Joey, so, like, give what, give theory, okay, be give give me your understanding. Hang on, Joey, Joey, Joey. Sorry, I cut him off because Joey was putting out some basic scientific facts there. And that is often problematic in this pro-meat community. My point is that, I mean, from personal experience and also just observing the anecdotes of other people, whether you deem them credible or not, it seems to me like it's way less risky to eat raw meat because the, the risk of vitamin C toxicity. By the way, there's my logo here that Bart has been using for years. I made up that term and the font on my computer back around 2018.